So in this video, we're demonstrating how to clear information from your computer when your click-free device is not presenting or is not presenting itself as a storage device. So in this instance, you see there is a device that is attached with a volume name of entitled. Okay. In order to remove that device, the first thing you want to do is tap on the right-hand side of the mouse pad which will bring up this context menu and then click eject and you'll see that the device is gone it no longer is used and you can safely remove the device now when you, i plug the device back in you will see that it mounts it back in this case, as in you know, untitled. Now, in the event that it's not mounting it back, a simple way to fix this is using the Finder menu, which you get to from the taskbar on the lower side, and clicking Finder, which is the you know, which shows the face. Click that and you can ignore the um you know that page that shows up that shows recent and shows everything you know um directory contents and from the finder menu here on the top click go and then go down to go to folder which is also shift command g when you click that, it's going to ask you what folder you would like to go to. Type in slash volumes and press enter. Now, in this case, you'll see that there's five devices in my example. Your results may vary. However, what you will see is you will see that one of the volumes is going to be called Macintosh HD. You do not want to do anything to Macintosh HD. Again, repeating myself, you do not want to make any changes to the volume known as Macintosh HD as that may render your Mac unusable. So if we ignore that, now we have four other devices, shared support, untitled, click-free two, click-free seven. Okay, shared support is just another device that I have connected to the computer. You can right tap, you can tap the right side of the mouse pad and select eject shared support and it disappears you can go to the next device you can tap right tap and you can eject untitled okay that removes the devices that the system will allow you to gracefully remove now what we're left with is we're left with two volumes in this case which is click free 002 and click free 007. Typically, these occur when 
the device is removed without first ejecting it and the operating system was performing an action on that volume so it's locked but the device isn't there so it's unable to complete the action so for these devices you can simply press um you know right click or right tap the mouse pad and go down and tap move to trash it's going to ask you for a password you enter the password and then it removes it do the same thing with the second device right tap move to trash put your password in and that clears it now what's left in the volume folder is only the macintosh hd which is exactly what you want it to be so now we can x out and close that at which point when we insert the click free adapter into the MacBook. It then mounts it to the computer the way that you would want it to. And again, following up on that, if we go to in the Finder menu, if we go to the folder volumes, we see Macintosh HD and we see untitled which in this case is the click free now you can see the device is working as intended and you can go about your way and use the um, computer to back up your system and with that we are now finished thank you for joining us for this demonstration